Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I am here at Maker Fair 2013 in New York. It's awesome to be here. I came for the first time last year and was really blown away at what a cool festival it was. And I thought, well, let's throw, what, let's throw together a quick video and uh, see what we see that's interesting here. Just walked in and the first thing I see was Lincoln Electric, uh, which is awesome. I don't think they were here last year and they've got a 53 footer with a giant trailer saying explore welding opportunities explore career welding and opportunities hard to argue with that let's uh, let's see what they've got in store here <clears throat> what they've got here is a virtual welding machine where you wear a helmet that's got a set of vr goggles in it and you can as you weld with a fake torch you can see your bead on the tv screen there pretty cool as you can see it is not small and it is very well attended, which is awesome. It's a great place for families with kids. There's a ton of interactive exhibits. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not an uncommon scene at all. Almost, uh, like I said, a mechanic wheels on that, which is pretty cool. Here's my current favorite 3D printer, the folks at Form Labs. Great team, some MIT and uh, SolidWorks brain trust behind this. And unlike something like a MakerBot, which is an extrusion-based machine, this guy uses stereolithography. The print quality is incredible. Here's a part straight off one of the printers. Arduino's got a huge table, not surprising. But there are two things that really encompass uh, Maker Faire, in my opinion. It's Arduino and 3D printing. Here is the brand new Arduino Yun board. More on that later. Pretty cool uh, board in a good way for using Arduino in lieu of Raspberry Pi when you need connectivity. Here's the uh, MakerBot digitizer. This is relatively new, a 3D scanner. As this gnome rotates on the uh, platen, it will use two lasers and create a 3D model of it. It's great for 3D printing and copying things. I think this one's a little expensive right now. I think it's like 1200 bucks, but an important step in innovation as this stuff becomes more mainstream. And if you haven't seen a MakerBot, this is a replicator too. These are great, they're, they're a little bit old school at this point, but here's one in action. This lays down extrusion layer after layer. I think it's, they claim about 4,000 for layer resolution, um, but the prints, you know, they're not bad, but they're nothing like the Form 1 Labs printer we saw earlier. Here you can see the inside of the model in some detail, the resolution. Here's the Nerdy Derby, an awesome activity for kids. They can make their own Pinewood Derby style car. And then this runs down this giant track and you can see there's Arduinos abound here used to measure the timing system. It looks like maybe those are ping sensors too. Uh, my buddy Matt Richardson, I think, was involved with this project. And I want to say it was part of NYU's uh, ITP program as well. My recollection is they cut all these track segments out on a shot bot. It was quite a quite an endeavor. But again, a great activity here and again, awesome to encourage uh, engineering and science for the young kids. Here we go. The wipeout. This is beautiful. I actually just saw a video on it on the Make Vlog. And uh, I remember the fellow made this with like a small seed uh, manual lathe and a small routing, homemade router CNC. Beautiful TIG welds on it as well. And just really cool. I always uh, wanted to make a short circuit robot when I was a kid. And this isn't exactly like Johnny Five, but nevertheless, pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got here. It's like a little Sharpie uh, robot with a servo that lifts it out of, off the paper. Let's see what she's doing. It would be pretty cool if this worked like a pen plotter. No, come back. Look at that. There's Not bad. In There's code in it. I think it's a circle. Yeah, I, I, I believe you are correct. The motion and control mechanism on this one caught my eye. Pretty cool. It's a two axis robotic coffee maker. I know. And you can see it's dispensing hot liquid between them. Nice motion. Last year there was a sea of 3D printers. It seemed like everyone and their brother went and knocked off the MakerBot sort of style. Here's a different style, still an intrusion printer, but uses the DeltaBot where the Z-axis is 
on that separate uh, is, is fixed, and then the arms are open down. Reminds me of an old Honeywell six-axis CNC machine I saw once that was the size of a room. Okay, so we Here's something interesting from the folks at ShopBot called the HandyBot. Looks like it's a typical CNC router, except it must weigh enough that you just lay it on top of your wood, and it does a pretty nice job routing. Granted, this is a pretty nice piece of uh, plywood, too. But nevertheless, pretty cool. Definitely a more portable solution. Microsoft powered robots. They're using, kids are using Kinex to box with them. Okay, that's a wrap, folks. On the way out, I was able to hop in the uh, welding tractor trailer there and run one of those Lincoln virtual machines. They had both MIG and uh, stick welders. Pretty cool. I, you know, nothing, in my opinion, like the real thing, but uh, interesting to see the technology there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different than what we uh, normally cover here, but awesome to see so many kids and young adults running Arduinos and, and hacking stuff and, and making robots. So, so again, hope you've enjoyed, and uh, I'll hop back over now to the uh, project on making the copper jackets. Take care, folks.